the moon in July. This particular moon in July. The softness of the light. So subtle that can penetrate subconscious areas. Specifically, the area about the relation between your external world and your internal world. It is a moon that invites us to question what do you think about the external world? Is it threatening? Is it friendly? Is it prosperous? Is it relaxing? Is it violent? And whatever opinion you have or point of view, immediately you have a position. It creates a position. So if I think that if the external world is violent, I will create a defense or an evasion. That the external world don't like me, don't love me, that I don't have a place on it. That's all illusions. That's all lies that you create in order to avoid responsibilities, to avoid to show up just the way you are. Or better say, to show up the way where you are internally. As a child, or childish, or immature, or in whatever stage you are, you're welcome to the world. So the view of the world creates an inner position. Between these two, them is no harmony. There is no conversation. They're fighting, avoiding. The world created by you tried to tell, look at me, show up. Who are you? I need you. And then you go, no, you're too danger. I cannot show up. I will be hurt. I don't trust you. So all these inner conversations are at the subconscious level. And the invitation of this moon is to see the conversations and to see the positions and the probability to see the real vibration of the form that is the cooperation of all humanity. It is being created by all humanity. So you can see humanity you can see the potential of the form and with that then you can manage it, you can interact, you can have the synchronicities, the coincidences that promotes your wealth, your health, your relations. This moon is very specific. It's about popping the illusion in your head about the world. See what is truth. Number one, the information that is presently around you through the technology, internet, social media, etc. don't give you the correct view of the world because it's in fear 
or in mercantilism, an exchange. Right? That's how it manipulates. So it's not that kind of information that it will give you knowledge of the world. Therefore, you are by yourself. What is the world? How is formed? The answer will be through your inner connection. It's you and you desire to relocate yourself that it will answer that. Then the form, as illusionary as it is, will have a different brightness, a different meaning, a different purpose, and a different direction. This is very, very important because you are in the form. You are the form. You are equally alive as the plants, the birds, the whales. You are in the form. So evolving the form is necessary for you inner to expand, to take more, more space. If the form is constricted, if your body feels tight, if you feel tight in your body, it's like a dress that is too small. You will want to say, just get me out of here, you will check out. You won't have that desire and joy and plentitude of exploration. So it's something subconscious, but at the same time, with this knowledge, you can bring it to a level of contemplation where it becomes more tangible, where it becomes more your reality, your formation. And in that way, then, the architect within you can come forward slowly and make more inquiry about what is the world? What is the frequency I am choosing to live in? What is my sphere? That is the synchronization. That is the harmonization. Celebrate July full moon, Guru Purumina. Celebrate the ones that had teach you about the world, how to live in it. Celebrate your ancestors who have lived a world. Celebrate all worlds and locate yourself in your space in this world. Realize, my dear, you are welcome in the world and it's you who keep rejecting yourself from it. Bye for now. Happy Guru Purumina. Namaste.